Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay. Today's video, we're doing a Credo sale recommendations. Welcome to day two of my little sale extravaganza here on my YouTube channel. Did not plan on doing this, but here we are. I wanted to show you recommendations for the Credo sale as well. Really wanted to help you guys like sift through these sales and find out what's good and what's worth your money. So I know it can be so overwhelming and I've just tried so many products. I want to share the knowledge that I have with you guys on what works and what doesn't. Um, I have a lot of stuff here. I narrowed it down pretty much. I'm not going to talk about as much hair care or body care as I did in the Sephora video, but I do have a ton of skincare. I have a ton of beauty favorites. Just stuff that's really my go-to. Credo is one of my favorite online shops to shop on. They just have so many brands. I feel like they carry the largest range of brands in clean beauty and I just really love their site and I'm so excited. They're doing 20% off, probably my favorite sale of the year. So let's just hop right into it. It's been a long time getting ready for this video. It sounded like I was from Boston there. It's been a long time. That's British. Hey, I spent a long time getting ready. That is okay. I spent a long time getting ready for this video, so please give it a like so I did not waste my own time. I'm gonna change it up and start with skincare today. I have two toners that I want to talk about. These are like, one is like a cult fave and the other is one that I recently tried out and really have been enjoying. The first one is the Josh Roseberg Hydrating Accelerator. How much do I even have to say about this? This is my favorite mist of all time. I'll repurchase this forever and ever. I'm almost out of this one. Um, it's amazing. If you guys haven't tried it, I feel like you need to. I feel like it would work for any skin type. Just the only, one of the only mists I feel like actually makes a difference in my skin. It's worth the money. It is just packed full of good stuff. And this is a great time to either stock up or buy a new one. And then the other one is the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. They did recently update this, so they changed the mister, so the mister is a lot better. And then they also added a couple new ingredients. Hello, or they added a new ingredient that makes it a little bit more hydrating. I did try their jasmine one, and I like that one as well. This one I feel like is great for all skin types. The mister is so much better. I'm glad that they improved on it. I feel like rose water is just a really classic product to have on hand. Use it before makeup, after makeup whenever you freaking want to. So this one I really enjoy and I think Herbivore is a good brand to pick up during the sale since they can be a little bit pricey. Next, let's move on to serums. I have so many serums that I absolutely love that you can find on Credo Beauty. I love how they're always adding new brands and sort of products I haven't heard of. I like to go on their like new page and just check out what's new. But first off is this brand, which I think is also pretty new to their site. It's their, I think the brand is called Ayo, these are their native core serums. This is the Raw Nurture PM treatment, and then this is the Raw Nourish AM treatment. These are really interesting. They don't have a like typical serum texture. It looks almost like a light cream. And that one, I believe the PM one has some baki chol in it. It just has really great ingredients. Helps to increase, I think, skin turnover as well. I really like the PM one. I have a little bit trouble with the AM one um, pilling, but it really just depends on what I use it for. I really like the packaging. They're airless pumps, so they stay really sanitary. I think they make my skin really happy. So yeah, the PM one has red algae, haraki seed oil, kiwi seed oil, and then the AM one has red algae and manuka honey. And yeah, these are also, I think they're called low moisture, which means they pack a lot of benefits to the skin, but they don't like make your skin oily or greasy or anything of that nature. Really like these and I've been enjoying them so far so I wanted to mention those. Then I have a vitamin C which is probably my favorite vitamin C of all time. It's the Ursa Major Brighten Up Vitamin C Serum. You have new packaging now which is white and blue but it's the same great product. This is thin. It feels like a really light moisturizer. It layers beautifully. It doesn't pill on me which is something I definitely have trouble with with uh, vitamin C serums. I just always go back to this one. I've tried a bunch of other ones. Drunk Elephant, didn't like that one. Some other brands, they just don't work as effectively as this one works for me. I just think this is a classic product. Another classic in my skincare collection is the Kahini Giving Beauty Eye Serum. Again, one of the only products for my eyes that I feel like I actually notice a big difference with. This is an eye serum, so it's not heavy and it works well under makeup. This really definitely improves my dark circles. Like it's incredible. I really love Kahini Giving Beauty. I 
I feel like they're not really like talked about that much or they don't do a lot of advertising, but I really love the brand. This, their brightening serum, their oil cleanser, are all really beautiful products. They are pricey, but I think they're so worth it. This eye serum actually lasts me such a long time because you need the tiniest amount. I've had this for, I don't even know how long. It's been a while, probably since the summer, but I really enjoy this and it's probably, it's the only eye product I'm recommending in this video. So good time to pick it up since it is on the pricey side but you get that 20% off. And the next serum is something that is new to me, but I wanted to mention, it's the Herbivore Prism. This is also their updated version. I have tried the old version as well. This one has an increased amount of exfoliating acids in it. So it now has 12% AHA and 3% BHA. And they're not joking around with this stuff. It is the real deal. Uh, my skin is pretty sensitive to exfoliants. It gets red, which is actually, I mean, it's normal. It's not gonna hurt your skin. So um, if you have sensitive skin, you might get rid with this, but it does go away. This just does a good job at smoothing out the skin. It does sort of have like a hyaluronic acid type feel to it. So it just sinks in really nicely. It's actually a little bit thinner. It almost feels like water on the skin. Has a beautiful feel, doesn't pill up. I use this not every night because that's just too much for exfoliating, but probably a couple times a week when I really just wanna renew the skin this one is nice and i love the new packaging like holographic hello and then the next one is another actually brand new product to the market but you guys know i love josh rosebrook if you're going on credo and you don't get at least one josh rosebrook product just please do i feel like the brand is so good such effective skincare one of the first brands i really fell in love with and this is his new hydration boost concentrate facial hydrating serum now this is half an ounce which you might be like why is it so tiny? But this is actually so powerful, you don't need to use it every day. So it's actually just this like brown color, which is not that attractive feeling, but I just wasted that for you guys to swatch. <laughs> We're lucky people. I'm getting weird. But anyway, this is super hydrating if you have really dehydrated skin in the winter, like me, like once it's like colder out, my skin is just like, help me, I'm dry and this is really the savior for it. This with the hydrating accelerator, and I also have another product from him that like, I feel like with his products, like you could only have three of his products and that could be your whole skincare routine and you will notice incredible results. Like I'm just obsessed with this. It is new and I'm still testing it out, but so far I'm really loving it. I forgot to mention cleansers, but I only have one to mention. It's the Bybee Swipe Clean Oil Cleanser. This stuff is really good and Bybee is a little bit more on the affordable side. So that's why I wanted to mention this. I also love the packaging. This is great, it takes up makeup so well, especially when I'm doing looks like these, it really just melts everything off and it does sort of emulsify and rinse off. I always do a second cleanse, but I think you could just do a single cleanse and this would still work. Um, this lasted me a while as well, I just finished this. It's about 3.38 fluid ounces. So love this from By B. good oil cleanse choice. Oils, I've tried so many oils, so I narrowed it down to three of my favorites that I feel like are just the best of the best. First off is the Pie Skin Care Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil. This stuff is, wow, I've tried so many oil blends. I've tried so many rosehip oils and nothing compares to this. I don't even know, but it's just, I feel like maybe the process that they made this, it's just way more effective than any other oil I've ever tried. If you have acne scars, if you have dry skin, if you have just anything wrong with your skin, I totally recommend trying this. It's just a beautiful oil. This actually lasts a long time as well. You need a tiny amount. I like to emulsify it sort of with a mist and just pat it onto the skin. It's not as heavy as some rosehip oils I've tried. Like I'm, I'm confused about this. I don't know how they made this so beautiful, but it's probably my favorite oil of all time. And also around this time of the year, on Credo, they have like such fun pie skincare sets. I'll link some below, but a really good chance to try out the brand. Really love pie skincare, and especially if you have sensitive skin, this brand is just perfect. I'm gonna have two more products here from Bybee. These are their boosters. They have a couple others that, that I haven't tried yet, but I'm really interested in them. But the two I like are the CBD booster and then the Baki Chol booster. So both of these have a base of squalene oil, which is really well received by your skin because it's the closest to your natural oil production. So this one has some CBD in it. I'm not, 100 milligrams of CBD. Oh, this one actually has hemp oil in it. This one is the one with squalene. It has Baki Chol. It has 1% Baki Chol in this little bottle. So you can mix these in with your skincare. You can use them on your own. I like to use a CBD one, sort of on blemishes and the Baki Chol. If my skin's feeling like 
a little extra dry and I want a boost. These are really versatile, more affordable, and Ivy is a brand, you know, they're killing it. All right, and then I have one cream and then I have two masks that I want to mention and then we'll move on to the beauty. First is the Josh Rosebrook Vital Balm Cream. This I use way too fast. I need to pick up a new one. This is like the cream version of their advanced hydration mask. All the same properties, same amazing smell. If you have really dry skin and you just need to like fix it fast, this is so freaking gorgeous. I don't use this every night because it is a little bit heavy on the skin, but I went but 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 when I feel like I just need a little extra love into my skin, this is what I reach for. This is the smaller size, I believe it's a 0.75 fluid ounce, but they do sell a bigger version. Again, great time to pick up any Josh Rosebrook products because they are pricey, but they're worth it. Okay, last for skincare, I have two masks here. We'll start with the by skincare Kappa. Hmm, I don't know how to say that. Deep Cleanse AHA mask. This is also new to me. It came with a washcloth, which is really nice. Again, check out Pi Skincare's like holiday sets. They always have some fun ones. This is an exfoliating clay mask, which is really interesting. But I've tried to like not use as many exfoliating serums because I feel like my skin gets pretty dried out easily. So I just stick to the Herbivore one a couple times a week. And if I want like a really deep exfoliation, I will go in with this. It does leave my skin red, but again, that's like normal for me for exfoliating products. This is for combo and blemish prone skin. Yeah, this is really potent, super powerful. And it just it does the job right and it does it well. And that's that. And then the last mask is another Josh Rosebrook product. It's the Cacao Antioxidant Mask Purifying Facial Mask. This is just amazing if you need detox for your skin, but you don't want something over drying. It kind of looks crazy. It smells like chocolate oranges though, which is like my favorite scent. To put this on, make sure your face is damp. I like to mist the hydrating accelerator before I go in with it because it just spreads so much easily. So much easily. So much easier. Take this, spread it on the face. You're gonna look crazy with this on, but it just does wonders for the skin. This also leaves my skin red, but uh, red on its Instagram, that's also normal because it's just bringing all the blood to your skin. It's gonna help circulation, help healing, help anything. It's really an all-in-one mask. I feel like anybody could get some use out of this. Everyone needs some purification at one point or another. So I really love this mask. And this is the 1.5 fluid ounce size. Almost done with this as well. One of my favorite masks. Feels really luxurious as well. Okay, I lied. I actually have one more. This is like a body care product. It's the Lady Sweet Intimate Skin Care Rejuvenating Botanical Oil for the glow below. This is for anywhere you want to put it. Anywhere you get ingrown hairs. This is amazing. I love how this smells. And it's pink, so what's not to like? It smells, I don't even know like what, but this is my second bottle. I finished up a whole bottle. The lady who owns this brand is so sweet and this is just a beautiful product. They also have a cleanser which I just finished up. It's in my shower, I should have grabbed it, but that I totally recommend as well. It's also not crazy expensive, so really important to take care of your body in these areas and this one's really nice, so I wanted to mention it. Okay, that was all for skincare. Let's move on to beauty. The first product is a beauty slash skincare product. It's the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin. Moisturizing face, sunscreen, mineral, matte, tinted coverage, infused with peptides, and vitamin C plus E, broad spectrum, SPF 30, blue light spectrum, vegan, all skin types, all skin for <laughs> it says a lot on the front. This is an SPF. It's a tinted SPF. It's my favorite tinted SPF. This also is on the pricey side, but I feel like it just works so much better than a lot of the SPFs I've tried. This is the shade light, I think. No, this is the shade buff. The first shade fair is super fair, so... Just to let you guys know, I have tried both of those shades. This is beautiful because it doesn't pill. If you don't want to wear like a foundation over this, you don't have to because it gives a really good, it's like a medium coverage almost, which is, I feel like rare in a tinted sunscreen to actually give that much coverage. Has 15% zinc oxide. So this is a really beautiful SPF and yeah. I'm not gonna mention any foundations. I actually am gonna mention one. I'm lying again, I'm sorry. I wanted to update you guys on the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Cream Foundation because I made that video and then I kind of never updated you guys besides on my Instagram about, you know, how I ultimately feel about this foundation. This foundation, I think, 
I'm so torn. It's for such a specific skin type that I'm not going to recommend it to everybody because I feel like there's better foundations out there. But if you want like a medium to fuller coverage, if you have really dry skin and you just want something that's super glowy, I would recommend this because it is beautiful in that way. But for me, it slips and slides all over my face even if I set it with a powder, makes my mascara smudge. It is just like not looking good by the end of the day. If you just want like a little something that's not gonna last that long, who wants that though? I'm trying to make this into a positive. If you have dry skin, I think you would like this, but it does sort of accentuate dry patches a little bit. I do have it on my skin right now for like a super dewy look. I didn't really set it that much. So if you wanted that, this is nice. But other than that, I would pass on this. It's just not my favorite. Some other foundations I'd recommend is Elia True Skin. Of course, I'm not even going to talk anymore about that because you know my feelings. And then also the Olima Pure Satin Matte Foundation, the powder foundation I really enjoy. If you want any other foundation recommendations, check out my Ultimate Clean Foundation Guide. But that's all the time I'm going to spend on foundations and concealers just because I mentioned them in the Sephora video. And I've just talked a ton about them on my channel. So I'll link them below for you guys, but we're going to move on. Powders, again, I'm going to go over this super quickly. Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I mentioned this is my favorite powder of all time. It doesn't look dry. Helps with creasing, doesn't look cakey, sets makeup, just hits all the powder criteria. Yeah, it doesn't make your skin look crepey under the eyes, even if you use too much. It is super soft focus and it just has the most beautiful finish in any powder I've used. So this is my ride or die for under the eyes and all over the face. One that I like if I feel like my skin's like too matte and I want to add some glow to it is the Well People Bow Base Baked Brightener in Universal Glow. This is basically like a translucent powder, but it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's super finely milled. So it doesn't look like it's a shimmer on the face. This reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which I used to love. It's that similar like baked consistency. It just adds a little bit of glow to the face and it sets your makeup. So I think this would be nice if you have drier skin or you just don't like a super matte, flat look. I really like this one from Well People. Okay, moving on to more makeup, some super fun products. Um, we're gonna talk about blush now. Have two creams and then a powder option. The two creams that are just my favorite cream blushes probably of all time are the Juice Beauty Last Looks Cream Blush. I've used these a ton. I've talked about them a ton. They've been in a multiple favorites video. I have the shade Orange Blossom, which is this pretty coral. I have this one on my cheeks now. And then I have this one, which is called Flush, which is like the prettiest like nude, more of like a taupey nude pink for the cheeks. Just such beautiful shades. These are super pigmented. They have the prettiest finish. Like they make your cheeks look super dewy. Like I just love how they look. I love doing like more of a set down matte base. And then once you put these on top, it just make your skin look healthy again, which is why I love them. But it's not like an oily finish. It's a really interesting sort of just like dew and it lasts throughout the day. It doesn't fade off. The colors are great. I might pick up a new shade because these are just, they're my favorite. And they work over powder. I wanted to mention that because they're killer. I forgot to swatch these, so I will swatch them for you guys because I really want to help you, help you out with this sale and give you as much info and swatches as possible. This one is the shade Flush and then this one, the brighter pink is Orange Blossom, so pigmented, so pretty. You can see they're super dewy. And those are the swatches of those. Then I wanted to mention the Han Skin Care All Natural Multi Stick. This one's in Rose Dust. I wanted to mention like a stick product. This shade is a little bit cooler tone than what I would normally go for, but these are pigmented and they blend really nicely. They can pick up a little bit over powder. So if you're applying them over powder, just be careful use a sponge or a tapping motion and you should be good. They also work on the lips and Han is just a great, more affordable option. Um, I think these are nice, really portable and cute and lovely blushes. Okay, and the last blush I wanted to mention is a powder formula. This is PYT Beauty, another more affordable type of brand. They're not super affordable, but you know, on the terms of high end, more affordable. Um, these are their Heartbeat Cheek Colors. I have the shade Hustle, which is my favorite shade. It's like this mauve pink. It's a really unique blush shade. I really don't have anything like this. It looks so pretty on the skin. It does have a little bit of sheen to it, but it doesn't look too shimmery, too shimmery or anything of that nature. 
Um, I do have all the shades of these and the light pink one, it's just a little bit too light. And then the other coral one, I feel like the shimmer is just a little chunky. So if you were to get one of these, I would definitely recommend the Hustle shade. But other than that, yeah, I really like these great powder formulas. My bronzer recommendation, I don't have on me, but it's the Han Cosmetics Malibu bronzer. If you have fair skin, they do have other shades if you have deeper skin. But that one is just my favorite bronzer. I've talked about it a ton. It's one of my like cult favorite products blends smoothly it's just beautiful on the skin and there's like nothing like it and it's pretty affordable so that was my browser recommendation i just used one up so i don't have it but let's go ahead and move on to highlight i also have three highlights here to share with you guys this first one i haven't mentioned on my channel in so long this is actually one of the first clean products i ever tried it's the ritual de feely ghost light rare light luminizer they have a ton of shades of these but this one is it's a like white base, but it has this purplish sheen to it, which I have on my cheeks now. This is really nice if you have fair skin. I kind of find it hard to find a highlighter that has a light enough base so it doesn't look dark when I'm looking at it. So this is a really great option. These are more of a drier cream, so they're not super oily or dewy on the skin if you prefer that. I do like that. I find they last longer and I love these little compacts. They're super cute. If you like a more dewy highlight, I have been really enjoying these Kier Weiss ones. This one is called Radiance, which is just a really pretty, it's a really unique shade, honestly. It's like, it's sort of like a lighter champagne, but it has a very small amount of like sheen through it. Like I do see some bigger like flecks, but there's just so little of them that it doesn't look glittery on the skin. These are a little bit more of like sort of a powdery feel, but if you build them up, they do just give a really nice dew. I actually layered it on top of that other one as well. And then the other shade I have is called Dazzling, which if you have deeper skin, this would be stunning. But I use this one as a bronzer and I really like it as a bronzer as well. That's the shade there. Again, it's a light bronzer, so build it up. That's what I have on now as well. Did I already say that? Probably. But it is a lighter bronzer if you don't like anything too dramatic, but it can be built up. And I like how the compacts are refillable. Wanted to mention these because if you have been interested in them, now's a great time because they're super pricey, but you can get that discount. And the next highlight is the PYT Upgrade Highlighter. This is the powder formula I like. This one is called Backstage Pass, which is, can you see that? It's a classic light champagne. These are really nice. They're super like finely milled. They're more of like a it is pretty dramatic, but it's light at the same time. There's no chunks of glitter in this specific shade. I do have all the shades of these as well. This one is my favorite because of my skin tone. They have a deeper champagne, which would work if you have medium to deeper skin. Then they have a white one, which is like, it's super weird. I wanna swatch it. So this one is the shade Courtside. And like, I don't know why they made this. It has the chunkiest shimmer. Like it looks pretty on my hand, but it's made out of like really chunky glitter. But at the same time, it's pretty. It's like a love hate relationship I have with this. Maybe if you're going to like some party that glitter was appropriate, this would be nice. I don't know why I put that on, but I wanted to mention that this one really isn't a hit for me, but the other shades are nice and not similar to this one. The shimmer is finely milled. All right, let's do some brow recommendations really quick. These are my all time favorites, the Eco Brow Pomade. I've used since like the start of my channel. I use the shade Sharon. This has also literally lasted me forever. Uh, really nice if you're used to a pomade formula. If you don't like a pomade, like of course, you'd probably be a little overwhelmed by this since it is just really pigmented and creamy. It does stay on my eyebrows super well. I usually put a little bit of powder just to make them stay even more. But my newest fave from Eco Brow is their brow gel. This just has the coolest brush on it. It only comes in clear, but it has like spikies on the top so you can brush your brows up, but it's also just like normal so you can brush them through. This just holds my brows really well without being super like stuck on or too liquidy, if that makes sense. If you guys have that problem with brow gels, this is the perfect medium. I also just like to brush them through after and it just, it holds so well. Like one of the best eyebrow gels I've ever tried. Especially when you have bangs, like kind of like pushes your eyebrow hairs down and this really helps with that. So I really love these from Eco Brow. I do not like their brow defining pencil, so be aware of that, but these two I definitely love. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow. I'm not gonna talk a ton about these again because I've mentioned them a lot. It's the Ilia Necessary Palettes, the warm and the cool one. This one's like already worn off. I get a ton of use out of these. 
the shadows are pigmented they blend out beautifully love the color selection and yeah that's all i'm gonna say i really love them and you guys know i love them so i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop loving them no i won't next up is a shadow i've recently surprisingly fallen in love with this is the kira weiss charmed eyeshadow i saw this and i was like oh just like a neutral shadow how good can it be you know but this color is just like it's one of the most unique it doesn't look unique i don't know how to describe this it's like a taupey brown it's not totally matte so it does give your eyes a good amount of dimension and you can use this if you have deeper skin like as a lid color i just put a little bit in my crease and it's just like an everyday look this in the crease and like whatever highlight on my lid and it's like bam done gives enough definition but it's not too dark and it just blends really well and it's just a little, little cutie i have some much more affordable eyeshadow options these are the han skincare eyeshadow singles these were like one of my first eyeshadow loves i'll swatch them for you guys these are super pigmented that one is the shade romance which is like a rose gold golden glow which is just a golden color as it suggests i have one more too i also have this light champagne which is called celebrate you can use that as a highlight too they do only have like shimmers of these i wish they would make like a palette or matte shades that are like similar formula formula <laughs> similar formula to their bronzer wouldn't that be cool girl let's let's email them about that no i'm kidding um anyway these are great really good formulas last thing you guys will probably be surprised to see me mention because you guys know this isn't my favorite palette it's the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. This is my favorite, not because of the formula, but because of the shades. They're just, I don't get a ton of use out of them because they're not, I feel like there's not enough depth and variety in the palette. And also they're just so cool tone. Like I never use them. Like these are pretty and I would use them, but I just don't break out the palette just from one or two shades. But I do really love the formulas and I now know they came out with a bunch of other like palettes recently. So I would recommend the formula of these. I just don't like this specific one. If you like the shades, you would love this. But when I pick up another one of these, let me know in the comments below what one you think I should get. I know they have like the blue one, which is all metallic. They have the warm shade. I think they came out with another one, like a purple one. Let me know because I would love to get another one. I just don't use this one a ton, but I still want to mention it. Okay, we're actually almost done. I wanted to mention this little gift set from Elia that they have on Credo Beauty now. It's called the Discover Elia Clean Color. So this is really fun because you get a full-size multi-stick, a deluxe mascara, a liquid serum highlighter, and a tinted lip conditioner, which I love all of these. The multi-stick I'm not like super crazy about, but the rest of them, I think this would be great if you've been wanting to try Elia or some of other Elia's products. It comes packaged like this, which is so cute. And then you get this clear bag, which is, it's worth it. <laughs> You get a full-size multi-stick, you get a liquid highlighter, you get a little tinted lip conditioner, a mascara. Just a really cute little set to give as a gift or keep for yourself. So yeah, that's that. And then let's move on to, what's the last category? Mascara and then lips. Okay, I have two mascaras because I'm very picky about mascara. And these are the only two in Clean Beauty that have worked for me so far. First is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. You get the mini in that little set if you want to test it out. This is nice if you like a lighter fluttery lash. It can be built up to be more dramatic. Doesn't smudge, doesn't flake, doesn't do anything, which is what well, makes my lashes look good. That's what it does. But it doesn't do anything bad. So one of my favorite mascaras and I was really impressed with that. I wasn't expecting much, but it's been my go-to for every day. And then this is the new Well People Expressionist Voluminizing version. I don't like the original, but this one is great. It has the like fiber brush that's a bit thicker. This gives more like a voluminizing look as this one is like a little bit more fluttery and lengthening. I can combine these two and they look really good together. This one, depending on the concealer I use, does smudge it a tiny, tiny bit. But other than that, I think it's a really beautiful effect. It can be super dramatic. So I really like these two mascaras and they also have a brown version of the Well People one. Moving on to lipstick, I have a lipstick, a lip tint, and then two glosses I really like. First is another product from Well People. These are their Optimist semi-matte lipsticks. I really like how they're semi-matte. Makes them really nice and wearable. This one is in the shade Soulmate. I have a couple of these. I like the packaging as well. It kind of like, I don't know what it does, but it's cool. 
Um, yeah, pigmented. It doesn't last the longest, but it's just a lipstick, so it's not like I'm expecting it to do anything crazy. Then the Ilia Tinted Lip Conditioners. I also mentioned these a ton. I just love how like pigmented and moisturizing and glossy they look. This is the shade Little Sister, which is one of my favorites next to Oh Baby. They're more like the nude pinks. Again, you get many of that in the set. So if you wanted to try like this in the mascara, you might as well get the set. And then the two glosses I wanted to mention are really pretty new glosses. This is from Keir Weiss. This is the Treasure Lip Gloss. Got a sample of this off of Credo because they do give you samples free with every order, which is super cool. And I fell in love with this and I just wanted to repurchase it. So I just recently did repurchase it. It's the perfect light pink milky gloss these are super smooth they're not sticky at all they're more of like a moisturizing formula and this just feels like super luxurious again you can refill these which is nice and then the other one is the saint jane cbd lip gloss this is the shade bliss i'm not sure how much cbd is in these maybe like 50 per tube or maybe less than that that might be a lot it's more of like a sheer nude it has a little bit of shimmer in it but it's not too much but it just adds a little bit of dimension I really love the packaging of these as well. This one's a little bit more sticky than the Kira Weiss one, so it really depends on what you prefer, but both of these I think are really pretty. And that actually wraps up everything, I think. All right, guys, that wraps up everything. I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you let it guide you through the holiday sale season. All these products, I really enjoy. I stick by them. I think they're great. If you did find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on picking anything up and then also let me know any products you'd love to see me review or what Aether Beauty palette you think I should get because I'm definitely going to be picking up some stuff from the sale as well. Maybe I'll do a haul after that. Let me know if you'd like to see that but subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video.